guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different, it's going to be kind of like a fossil haul or shop video, I didn't really know what to title it, I basically have ordered a load of fossil related stuff, some for prepping fossils, some just to explain fossils, and I thought I would share and just kind of do a video on it all. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you're all doing well. Also, I don't know if you, I have literal crystals in my hair, so cool isn't it? Um, I thought I'd share. But, um, yeah, so I'll start with the first thing I got. So I got this off of Amazon and it's an ammonite model. So I wanted this to help explain what ammonites look like when they're alive. Oh, if my nails look funky, it's because they're colour changing. So they're white when my fingers are warm and pink when they're cold. So as you can see, my fingers are a little bit here, there and everywhere right now. I think they're trying to be warm, but my baby fingers are cold. So they're kind of cool. So if they just keep changing throughout this video, I apologise if that's distracting. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got this guy, so it's just a nice size model to help explain, you know, when I'm talking about ammonites, that they're not snails, they were in fact mollusks that were these kind of squid-like creatures. Yeah, I got this guy off of Amazon, and then I got these ones off of eBay, so these are mini prehistoric toys. Now I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger, but there was no like size guide when I saw them, I just thought I had to have them. Look at that! So I now have like big ammonite, small ammonite, like how cute are they? So I thought had to grab those and then this set also comes with like a heteromorph ammonite so that's as you can see by this little model their shells were kind of stretched out a little bit so I haven't actually found many heteromorph ammonites in my fossil hunting time but they're very cool nonetheless and there's just loads of other like prehistoric creatures in here that I just thought, why not? So this is a Pliosaurus. So you can find these along the Jurassic Coast. I've never managed to, but how they're, they're very big. These little toys make them look like they were these tiny little, little creatures, but they weren't. And then what I liked about these mini ones is they have these like bellum knights as well. Um, I'm not sure if they're meant to be bellum knights, but they kind of look like bellum knights. So they're just these little kind of like squid-like creatures like that. So they were just something cool um, to help showcase what fossils I've been finding. So I thought I would pick those up. If I can link anything down below, I will, if you guys want to check them out, because this is such a cool little kit. But I think I got the last one from the eBay seller I bought it off, but I think you can, there might be another one on there. So I'll link it down below if I can find it. Then I got a litre of acetone ready to dissolve my paraloid. So I got this off Amazon. It was only like £8.95. Oh, I kicked my camera. Sorry guys, that was probably really annoying for you to watch. Yeah, so I found this on Amazon for like £8.95. Um, and then I got the paraloid from Zoic Paleotech. So um, I got the B72 paraloid. Now, I need to work on the ratios because I don't want it to be a glue and I don't want it to be a varnish. I want it to be that kind of in between just to hold together the shell on the surface of the rock. So I'm going to do a bit of research to work out whether I, you know, dissolve because I got 100 grams of paraloid. So I don't know. I think I'll do 100 grams of paraloid in half a litre of acetone. Um, rather than a whole litre, so it's a little bit stronger, but I haven't quite looked into that yet, so we'll leave that to one side. Then the next bit, I got some nice super glue. So this is to glue, I think in a few of my Fossil Fridays, you guys have seen, <laughs> a few of my fossils are in need of gluing back together, so we've got that. And then I bought some dental tools, so this is kind of like a plaque remover, so you can scrape it on your teeth. Um, so I thought, this will be great to scrape off mud off my fossils. So I've been using a hardened nail at the moment, which is fine, but they're a little bit hard to hold. So I thought this is a really nice handled one, um, might work quite nicely to use on my ammonites. But then I also got a nice sharp craft knife um, just to help flick off the mud on the ones I found last Friday. You guys would have seen it. Um, I had like the crushed ammonite still with their original shell, but I need, you know, a sharp blade to just flick off the mud and the, you know, unwanted layers above the ammonite. So I thought, nice, nice sharp knife will do the trick for that. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys, it's probably my favourite. So my birthday wasn't that long ago, and um, obviously because of the virus, I haven't been able to see my partner, which has been really sad. But um, we saw each other the other day, and he gave me my birthday present. 
and it's a limited edition S-Wing hammer. Like, <laughs> look at that. So it's got a little, if I step out of frame, you guys might be able to see it. Can you see it? It's got like a dinosaur on it. It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. So this is my, the one I've been using previously. So um, it's just so beautiful. And it has a little case as well. It's like, what is this sorcery? It's amazing. So this is actually his and I stole it for like three years and um, maybe I'll give it back one day, but oh, just look at the difference there. Like the handle is so beautiful on it. So I love that. And if I, and look, it's got like a belt attachment. Like I'm gonna look so cool fossil hunting. So I'm so excited to use this, but I just also kind of, it's kind of scary to use it the first time. It's so shiny right now. And like the handle as well. So it has a little protective tip on it as well. So this is my new baby. It's, you know, you guys will probably come with me when I test out the first time, but it's so beautiful. I'm just, I never thought I'd be so happy about a new hammer, but there you go. <laughs> so I'm absolutely obsessed with this. So love it. So that's today's video, a little bit different from usual. I just wanted to share with you some bits and bobs that I got. Um, so the next few videos are gonna be me prepping the crushed ammonites I've been finding just so I can hopefully secure them in place and they're not already like broken apart because you have like a three week window before they kind of are, you can't really save them anymore because they dry up and they just crack off. So hopefully I've got it in time. I have found them about a week and a half ago. So I'm within the time frame. So hopefully I can salvage them all. Um, and I thought it'd be quite fun to bring you with me because it's very easy to destroy the shells, so I'm hoping I can, like, do it without breaking the ammonite, but we'll see. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check me out on Instagram, I'll link it down below, and I'll also try and link these bits and bobs as well for you. But I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did, and hopefully I'll see you next time. So I know I just ended the video, and I have a habit of doing this, but I didn't show you guys my miniature trilobite model. So in my prehistoric toy box, I also have this little guy, which I love. So I didn't actually show you many of them. I showed you the ammonite ones, but then there's this guy. So, oh, I always forget how to pronounce this name. It's like dung. They say it on the bottom, but that doesn't mean I can pronounce it. Dunkleostrus. Dun Dunkleostrus. Dunkleostrus. Yeah, we're going to stop him. <laughs>